Next, the council will be voting on a bill to ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. I am very proud that we're voting on this. We have seen a significant amount of reluctance on the part of the White House and the FDA to create a ban on these flavors, and the governor's executive order is currently being challenged in court. New York cannot and will not wait. And introduction 1362A, sponsored by our health committee chair, Mark Levine, would ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes and flavored e-liquids in New York City, including mint, menthol, and wintergreen e-cigarettes and e-liquids. Now, I want to acknowledge that we have listened intently to adults who have told us that e-cigarettes have enabled them to quit smoking. And that's in part why we will continue to allow the sale of vaping devices and tobacco-flavored liquids. But make no, make no mistake, we have no higher obligation than protecting the health of kids. Intro 1362A, which was adopted by a vote of 42 affirmative, two negative, and zero abstentions. <laughs> Uh, the sergeants, if you could, if you quiet could, in the chamber. If you could uh, clear the balcony, if the sergeants could clear the balcony. New York City has just signed the death warrant of millions of smokers who have not yet found this life-saving product, this life-extending product. The alternatives are we can limit the branding on bottles of e-liquid. We can enforce the current laws of making sure minors are not buying these products, making sure these minors are not possessing these products. 95% of the sales in our shops, in all of the vape shops, are flavors that are restricted under this bill. So the only flavor left would be tobacco or flavorless, and these products make up about 5% of our sales. So we wouldn't be able to stay open. Rent in New York City is very expensive, and you can't pay the rent on 5% of your income.